Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? Um, just Amelia crawling up the stairs. Good morning again, friendliest, friendliest friends. Yo, ah, ah. Hi, friendly friends. Amelia, what are you doing? That's not your breakfast. I think Amelia wants to be part of it. You want to be part of what's going on over here? Ah, uh ah, -uh, get down. I'll be food. Hi. Balance is restored. Amelia is watching Peppa Pig. I look like crap, I'm sorry, but I don't really care. <laughs> because last night was probably the longest sleep I've had in like over two weeks. Because <laughs> we've been staying up at night editing and then getting up early in the morning for breakfast. And today, or yeah, last night was just a whole entire um, night and morning of just doing nothing. So it's like really late right now. Um, and we have no food in the house, so Jokey's gonna go get food. And um, Amelia's watching her Peppa Pig, and I'm gonna brush out the dogs because um, every time they come back from their holidays, they always need to be brushed out. I think they're getting groomed soon though. I think we had it like that. We booked them in to be groomed, groomed right before and right after. Oh my goodness. Welcome home, Jokey Jokes. <laughs> I called it, totally called it. I said, the day we come home. That's it, you know, Ireland. Scone and Joey's are back. It'll be lashing rain. And what do you know? It's filthy lashing rain. Oh, uh, I even have to put a jacket on. Look, I put a jacket on with an attachment, a hoodie attachment. I'm still wearing shorts though. I'm wearing a t-shirt and I'm just, I'm just threw a jacket on because I was like refusing, refusing to put on pants. If you know, I'm going to be probably soaked here in the lashing rain. <laughs> I never have Tesco to get some M1 milk. Look what Amelia is doing. I gave her some porridge and she just started feeding herself with the spoon. Good girl. Will we get some more on that one? We need to fill it again. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Oh, it passed. Here, let me fill it with porridge again. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm. Oh, that's too much. Okay, hold on. There you go. Look at that. Oh, she dropped some. Here, you want some more? You dropped that one. Ah, oh, there it is, folks. There she is. Ah. Oh. Tesco, Tesco, it makes food go. <laughs> you got porridge on your face. Do you like it? She loved that. She ate the whole thing. She had a half, I made her a half portion. And she had the whole thing. <gasps> Look at you. Good girl. And I'd say she had like half a banana. I put a whole banana cut up in front of her just because she tends to, um, <laughs> she tends to spill some and, you know, get on the floor and stuff, so. And there we go. Almond milk. I haven't had almond milk in like ages now. Because, well, I haven't really drank milk, I suppose, in ages. So what else were we supposed to get? Almond milk and something else. Oh, bananas for Amelia. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm back in the, the rough and rough. <laughs> what are you doing? She pulled out all of the books again, and um, then I kind of tried to distract her with her toys. But um, it feels so good to be home. Like, some people were like, are you not sad because your holiday's over? I'm like, no, I think two weeks is enough to make you like miss home. I think one week isn't enough. You're like still craving more. But um, I just, I love the feeling of like being back in the routine and just being back in our own home um, and just being back to normal. I don't know, like, and I loved being on holiday too, but 
it's like a balance you know you need both a little bit of both because it's like you have to you have to go away to appreciate what you you know your routine and what you have at home I think anyway it's the same with like relationships sometimes you know the way they say absence makes the heart grow stronger because you appreciate the person more when they're not there well that's true too oh no no it's I like my fruit cocktail every morning, but I don't even get to have that now. Unless you guys want to come and make me a fruit cocktail every morning, that would be epic. I would so appreciate that. Seriously, I would. Um, I know Anna's mad into her organic. Organic? Yes, I know it's organic. I say organic because, I don't know. I just say things, I just say things wrong for fun videos. That's the joke for joke way. It is. So this is what we chose. This was an outfit from a subscriber and um, it was actually one of the people that came to our Dublin meetup. So thanks so much for this. It's from Dunn Stores and um, it's so cute. It actually matches her curtains because <laughs> it's like little gingham leggings with bows and then um, a t-shirt underneath and then this like little dress um, with a mousy on it and it matches her bow perfectly. So, um, yeah, you like the mousy? Where's the mousy? Look, it says squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> Another thing we have missed. We have missed these so much. The water wipes. So you've been using those other ones. Nice. Because the ones we were picking up were all like perfume and stuff and I just put that one, it's like nothing, you know? And that's what the water wipes are like. Nothing, just water and a bit of lemon. Boop. 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 You know the summer's coming to an end. And look, school uniforms. Oh god, school uniform time. <laughs> Amelia. Amelia. Hi. <laughs> oh, look how pretty you look. You look like you were in pink later hosen. Huh? You look like a little little Heidi or something. Yodelay, yodelay, yodelay. <laughs> what? Matches her pedicure like It does. Can you yodel? Can you yodel? That's pretty good. Daddy oh, yodel. What? Uh oh. 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 She was saying it at breakfast when she dropped like her spoon on her bowl. She huh? goes, oh, but she's actually like, yeah, yeah, defining her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she's there a couple of words. Actually, I saw some people in the comments that were saying my kid's first word was this as well because that was like one of the first words she actually said as a proper word. I know she says like daddy and dada and mama and stuff, but they're not really like they are her first words, but they're not like you know like a defined word. Where she said like this, like y'all heard it today, she said like this. This, this yeah. So it's so cute. Da, da, da. Yeah. Da, da. Like I'll, I'll take that as she's saying my name because she loves me. But you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Oh, Amelia, I have fallen. I have fallen for another. She can call me on way home. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. Why is your shoe on the banister? What are you talking about? It's not. And why are you even wearing those girls' shoes? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? Oh, just Amelia crawling up the stairs. <laughs> she got up two steps. What? She got up two steps. I just came out and I just looked over and she was like. Oh my god, that's dangerous. That's dangerous because what if she falls back? I'm standing here. <laughs> oh jeez, you're so cute! Hold on, let me vlog her from up here. Oh my goodness. I just came out and she was like climbing up the stairs. Amelia just climbed up two steps. This is so dangerous. Hi! Hi! Dada. Huh? You coming up to mom? You didn't let me do makeup. Oh god, she's climbing another one. 
Are you right behind her, yeah? I'm right here. Okay. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> oh my goodness, she like totally got up there though. Look at this carry on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now what are we gonna do? <laughs> so I was star VC mode. Oh my goodness. Did it did a new intro play to start this video? Huh? Or did it not? I have no idea. I've done it. Am I bragging about something I haven't even done? <laughs> Making the best intro in the history of the world. I remember I was working um I came up with this idea ages ago for this project. Uh it was like this um I didn't do I the project didn't get green lit in the end, so I suppose technically I'm gonna talk about it. Technically. Um, it was this, uh, was this animatic we were doing for this, um, this game thing, and, uh, and I was really, really good, because it was based in comic book characters, and it was like this magazine flip thing, and I was like, oh, we came up with this, I came up with this way of actually flipping a magazine, um, using it, and the mo most of the time when you do that, doing it in a 3D space is a lot easier, because you have your X and Y, Z, where I wanted to work in a 2D space using X and Z, you know, using, just, just, anyway, did, did it happen? Did, I, did it happen or did I fail miserably? Anyway, I hope it worked because I think it's like a, such a cool little idea. I was thinking about it ages ago. It's just the time to get it done. I want to try and get it done for tomorrow's video. Hopefully it was. Hopefully. <laughs> Ciao. This is one of my, um, my, uh, like, music, like, working songs. This album, Tenacious D live album, and the Linkin Park live album are, like, two of my, like, <laughs> they just help, they, they, they're, just help me with creative flow. Do you guys have any songs like that? Oh, my goodness. It's rendering. Oh, jeez. That took a long, that pretty much took, what time is it now? It's, like, half seven. That pretty much took all day. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> But I think it's going to be totally worth it. Friendliest friend! <laughs> oh, friendliest friend! Come on, Amelia! Come on! School time! You have to get up for school! You don't want to be late! Hmm? What would Mrs. O'Shea say? <laughs> you don't want to miss roll call! Huh? Friendliest friend! <laughs> Mm, friendliest friend, friendliest, friendliest friend. <laughs> Excuse me, where are you going? Where are you going, my friend? Where exactly are you going? Oh my god, oh god. This is so dangerous. <laughs> I know you love it and all, but it's a little bit scary for mommy because unfortunately I can't get any work done. Okay? Oh my God. She has been getting into everything. The dishwasher, she crawled into the dishwasher she crawled into the dog food numerous times. She, her new favorite hobby is to pull books out of the shelves. That's not a big deal though. Um, but this scares me a little bit. So as we just move that gate up there, I think it might need to be moved back. What are we gonna do with you, huh? What are we gonna do with you? Like, we need to get a playpen or something, huh? Or like a barrier. You want booby? You can't have it because you stuck for too long. So we're going to hold off till dinner time. Huh? Yeah. We're going to hold off till dinner. Yay. Clap, clap. Clap, clap. Good girl. Clap, clap. You're so big. It's crazy. Oh my god, when did you get so big? You singing a song? You singing a song? Dangly beat. Dangly beat. 
You sing the song. Whoa! 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 <laughs> You're getting too big for this almost, friend. You know, she's gonna have to get a little chair or something. She's not too big yet. No, 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 no. But she's get she's not too long, that's for she is. Look at you. Highest setting. And look at you. Feet aren't even touching the ground. But Good morning, friendliest friend, good morning, friendliest friend, the school bus has left without you. Hi guys, thanks for all your concern while I was sick during the time you were away. <laughs> I know it comes now, I'm here, I'm ready for my chicken. Look at everyone else. Is it your turn for num num puppy? <laughs> Look at everyone else waiting. Yep, yep, I'm ready for my chicken. Don't let the peasants, don't give the chicken to the peasants. Is that funny? What is the doggy doing up there? Yep, this is my private feeding time. So I asked Jonathan to bathe Amelia tonight because I am so tired. Um, I don't know, like, I want to ask a question. So Amelia is so much bigger now, and I guess because in Sorrento, we were, like, doing something every day, you know? And we had a lot going on, and, you know, obviously she grew that two weeks, two plus weeks. But you don't even notice when there's so much going on. Well, now that we're home, it feels like, well, today was a bit messed up because we got up really late and then she didn't have like her second nap because um, I wanted her to go to bed tonight, right? So she's kind of back on schedule. Like usually at home, her bedtime is, it should be nine, but it's really like very more towards 10. Like right now it's half past nine. She's going up to, for her bath so it'll probably be realistically like 10 by the time she's asleep which is fine so we got her kind of back on track but the problem is now well it's not really a problem but i just i want to ask you guys that are moms like how do you entertain your kids for that long like i don't even know it's not that i don't know what to do with her but it's like how do you get things done because <laughs> before she just slept all the time or she I don't know, like, well, she can't, she's actually a very independent baby, like, she will entertain herself for hours, but, um, then there comes a certain point where, obviously, I've, it, I feel like I've overwhelmed, like, I've read to her, I've sung to her, I've played a game with her, you know, I've played, um, I don't know, it's just, like, you guys probably know what I'm saying if you're a mom, just, like, when they get older, you're just, like, oh my god, they actually need so much more entertainment, than I even have time in a day to give. But maybe, like I'm saying, like I was saying before, maybe it is because we only had one nap today, so it just feels like, you know, she was awake for the whole day. So I just feel like, oh, like what do I do? I don't really want her to watch that much TV as she watched today, just because I don't think it's very good for her because she's so small still. Um, and I don't want her to get into that habit anyways. But like, yeah, just let me know what your thoughts are or what your tips are if you have older, like, older babies or toddlers or little kids like that. I remember we used to leave this camera in here and see what you got up to. And now, what do you do? You just pretty much do whatever you want and go wherever you please, huh? Isn't that right? You gonna come for bath time? You gonna come for bath time? This has become obsolete. We do not need this anymore. <laughs> She's a big girl in a big bath. Big girl in a big bath. Okay, this should do it. <laughs> Tomorrow I think we need to pick up a gate for the top of the stairs. What do you think? Huh? Where did you even get that from? I don't even know where she gets things from. Like this morning, climbing up the stairs? What's that about, huh? So here's our... Uh, Here's our safety contraption. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I am the swordfish, swordfish of the sea. I dwell over and my beauty. I wonder what could be. I think I see Amelia. I will come up to say hello, hello, Amelia. What you do? What you do? What you do? 
is she doing? Is that for me? Oh, thanks, friend. Can I have another one? You want this one? Yeah. How many ducks can you fit in your mouth? Like, put it like this. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Oh. You know one of the best things though when you do go away from Holly? Oh, look at this. Italian coffee. Italian chocolatos. You got some Italian chocolatos too? Yeah. Score! And I, got, and I get a handful. I get a bag full. That's the way things work around here. So long, farewell, the Beatles saying goodnight. I'd like to say and drink my first champagne. Do 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 Hey guys, and thanks for watching another episode of the Zaccone Jolie. And don't forget to like the video and favorite the video because that will be awesome, Mom. <laughs>